Hey folks, Tom Norfleet with www.citizenshipquickly.com. Want to talk to you today on how to avoid um, what I call legal scams in, in, in investing. Uh, traditionally, what people do is they'll go and put money with banks, credit unions, insurance companies, and they invest. And what happens is when these companies go and invest with banks, credit unions, and insurance companies, all these institutions do is they'll take that money and reinvest somewhere else at higher interest rates than what you're getting. Okay. Traditionally, where do they go? They go in equities, real estate, uh, some bonds, but they're making money off your money. What I'm trying to tell you to do is to bypass the middleman here and go directly in these investments yourself. You can do it just as well as these big financial institutions. I'm going to tell you some of the worst ripoffs in the world is uh, invest in money with life insurance companies, including variable life, which is t technically term insurance with a mutual fund. You can also go in universal life, which uh, traditionally is a, a fixed type investment combina uh, combination with uh, term insurance. Uh, those are not good investments. Uh, you're a lot better off if you're going to buy insurance um, and buy investments, buy cheap term insurance and invest the difference and go in index funds. And, but, but I'll tell you this, I would avoid life insurance like the plague. If uh, you know, Traditionally, people that need life insurance, remember life insurance uh, pays off only 2% of the people in the U.S. Uh, carry their life insurance to death with them. That's pretty bad odds. 2% are coll actually collecting. Uh, and I was in the business for years and I saw this myself. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, insurance companies scare people and homeowners companies do it too. Once you get the point where your house is paid off and you've got a lot of investments built up, uh, don't carry homeowners insurance. Don't carry life insurance. It's, uh, uh, that, it, isn't it funny how insurance companies will insure you? They'll take a risk on you, whether it's homeowners insurance or life insurance or health insurance or whatever, but you don't take a risk on yourself. The reason that occurs is most of these companies, insurance companies, uh, I mean, I say most of them, all of them know the, the figures. They know that they're going to make money long term if they check you out first before they take you as a client. If you've got a health problem, uh, you know, obviously they're not going to take you as a client because they know that there's a big chance they're going to lose money on you. They want healthy clients. Uh, if, if you're uh, wanting to get uh, homeowner's insurance where a tornado is on its way to your house, uh, or a hurricane, uh, obviously that's not going to fly. They're not going to take you as a client. They want healthy clients and clients that are low risk. But the point I'm trying to make is, um, is you really should be going to investments where your money's being invested, uh, whether it's term insurance, whole life, universal life. Uh, whole life is the worst investment. Most companies aren't even carrying whole life anymore. Uh, but it, Try to stay away from those type plans. The only way I would carry insurance is if you've got huge debts and it's early in life and you need it for a real short period of time. When you get through that period of time, get out of it. It's a waste of money. Okay, uh, Your mortality cost in life insurance that's, uh, uh, that's in whole life or universal, uh, that's money that's going down the drain. And you have other fees on top of that. You have expense, mortality charges. Uh, and combine in there and you want to uh, uh, be putting money where you can eliminate a lot of fees. You also get that mutual funds. You have mutual funds that have front end fees, they got back end fees, they got man uh, they have no load funds that have management fees. Uh, and don't get disguised on no load funds. I've seen no load funds that have fees of 2% and higher. Uh, that's 2% of your money coming out every year. That means if you've got a million dollars and 2% and a no-load fund is coming out every year, that's $20,000 a year you're losing in a no-load fund. You're better off going in uh, 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 index funds where you have little to no fees at all. And dollar cost to hit the same amount of money in every single month. And stay away from life insurance companies, credit unions, and banks. If you've got money parked there just because you, you want money to float to pay bills, fine. But don't put huge amounts of money in fixed rates that you, you lose tons of money over long periods of time. Uh, look at our website and our videos on how to get your taxes to zero, close to zero. Folks, if you're paying high taxes, do something about it. Uh, go on our website, look up, we got unique concepts of getting your taxes down as low as you want to go. Uh, we used to go inter, uh, uh, domestic, now we're international. You can get your taxes a lot lower if you go international. 
Look at all our videos, look at our website, and you can find out more information on that. If you've got a uh, question or comment, put it below. Also, if you've got, um, uh, want to get new videos as they come out, hit the subscribe button to your right of your screen. These videos will come out as soon as we put them out to you. Look forward to talking to you on our next video. Take care. Bye.